Time now to check out the latest earnings trends with Zach's Research Director, Shiraz Meehan. Well, there's certainly no shortage of stuff to talk about with our research director, Shiraz and so we're just going to get right to it here. Shiraz, in light of what's been going on recently with the S&P downgrade of the U.S. credit, is that going to have any impact on uh, earnings, corporate earnings going forward for the third and fourth quarter? Uh, not, not direct uh, earnings impact, uh, particularly in the short run, uh, but it will have uh, some indirect long-term impact. And, and just to explain what, what I mean by that, uh, let's step back a little bit and, and look at the, the context in which the S&P downgrade came in. Uh, 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 let's recall that the, uh, before the, the downgrade came in, uh, we had uh, a fairly iffy uh, economic growth outlook for the U.S. economy. Uh, mm-hmm. it, it, it became even more uh, uh, cloudier after the second quarter GDP growth rate. Um, uh, turned out to be weaker, and, and, and the whole the whole thing, and then and then the uh, the, the S and P downgrade. So the, in that overall backdrop, the the downgrade had a much more psychological impact uh, on on market sentiment, on financial conditions, uh, and as a result of that, on business and consumer confidence. And if that doesn't reverse itself in the coming days, then that will have an impact uh, on economic growth uh, and, as, and as a result on corporate profitability. So not a direct impact, mm-hmm. but it will have a bearing. All right, what's left to the Q2 season? Uh, it's pretty much over. Uh, we have about uh, 90% of the results are in. Uh, the results have uh, turned out to be better than expected, both on the top as well as bottom lines. Um, uh, about uh, 70, 72% of the uh, top line results have come in better than expected. Almost 70% of the, the bottom line results are better than expected. Uh, if we exclude finance, uh, about 20% uh, year over year growth rate. There's growth on a sequential basis too, both on top and bottom lines. Uh, most of the growth is coming from revenue expansion, mm-hmm. some from margin, uh, but we are seeing a deceleration on the margin front as we have discussed here in the past as well. Yeah. Uh, so overall, a good, uh, a good earning story. So what are the drivers going to be for Q3 and 4? You know, Q3 is relatively problematic uh, at this stage. The, uh, the, the estimates uh, are, 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 are quite strong right now. We should have, uh, based on current projections for Q3 and Q4, uh, uh, growth rates in the double digits. But given all of this, this macro uncertainty about the second half growth, both here as well as abroad, uh, I have I have a suspicion that uh, there is uh, there there is room for those estimates probably to come down a little bit. We are not seeing that yet in mm-hmm. estimate revisions, uh, but that's my that's my suspicion about uh, about estimates, and that's probably why the market is discounting. Uh, current expectations for the second half in 2012. So the, the the way the way estimates and projections stand right now, we have the first half and last year's earnings growth going forward into the second half and, and 2012. But the market is a little bit wary uh, into buying into that outlook. Mar- the uh, earnings for uh, the second half of this year. Still going to be impacted by those growth margins, those decelerating growth margins. Absolutely, those. Uh, th- that's that's more of a, of, of a cyclical phenomenon that was that was in place as we uh, as we had been talking about all along. Though uh, a few things have changed, we have seen pullback in, in a number of the commodities, which uh, which would bring down the estimates for uh, for, for for those uh, for those producing companies, but will have some beneficial impact for all those companies which 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 use those commodities. As as, as input cost, but overall on cyclical basis as well, uh, margins effectively uh, have reached prior peak levels, and uh, uh, there's not a lot more room for expansion uh, than there was uh, in the prior quarters. So the decelerating margins doesn't concern you? Does concern you? It does, but we have seen this decelerating trend in margins uh, in the second quarter results as well. Right. Uh, and the the growth momentum for the bottom line has been coming primarily from the top line. Now, the top line, the revenue gains move if 
essentially in sync with the nominal GDP growth rate. And if those nominal GDP growth rates are coming down, then those top line gains may be in question. And that's what I was referring to, that the second half in 2012 growth estimates, there's a little bit more uncertainty about those uh, uh, at present in my view. Okay, thanks for the time. If you want to keep track of Shiraz's latest thinking on the market, on earnings seasons, Going forward, then you definitely want to check out his piece on Zax.com's homepage entitled Ahead of Wall Street. He freshens that up every morning before the markets open, and that should be one of the must-reads on your list. With Shiraz Meehan, I'm Terry Ruffalo.